Assalamu alaikum, welcome to this new Arabic lesson with me, Maha. Today we're going to make a new uh, conversational Arabic lesson. We will imagine actually a situational Arabic lesson because we will imagine a situation, you're in an Arab country, you're learning Arabic and you want to apply what you have learned. So I'm going to give you different situations where you are found in a specific situation. We'll learn um, a conversation um, taken from this typical you know situation and I'm going to give you also a vocabulary list that you will find in this uh, certain situation so let's begin say you're in an Arabic country and you are at a party party in Arabic we say hafla hafla with a ha hafla it's a feminine word hafla hafla jamila you can say beautiful hafla um, and you want to offer a friend a drink let's say how we offer a friend a drink what, how do you say drink this the, you know the some words that we find in a hafla. First of all, it can be a hafla, hafla Eid Milad. Eid means uh, feast, Milad birth. So feast of birth, you might have guessed it's birthday. Hmm? Eid Milad. So it can be hafla Eid Milad of a sadiq, a friend, or a sadiqa, a friend, a female friend. All right, you are at this hafla Eid Milad, Eid Milad. You have your sadiq Yusuf. And you would like to offer him a drink. Mashroob. Mashroob. It comes from the verb shariba, to drink. Mashroob. A drink. Let's um, approach our friend. Marhaban Yusuf. Marhaban Yusuf. Hal to read. Do you want or would you like? Hal to read mashroob. Do you want a drink? Hal to read mashroob. Or you can ask it in a different way. Do you want to drink something with me? So we need the verb. We don't need the noun, mashroob, a drink. We need the verb to drink. Hal to heb, would you like? Hal to heb or hal to read is the same. Hal to heb and tash rab. Hal to heb, would you like? To heb is a verb. Between one verb and another, we need to put an. I have told you that before. So, hal tuhib an tashrab? Would you like to drink? Just like two in English. Hal tuhib an tashrab shay ma'i? Shay is something. Hal tuhib an tashrab shay ma'i? Ma'i is made with the preposition ma and e, which means uh, me, the object pronoun me. Hal tuhib an tashrab shay ma'i? All the grammatical stuff in this sentence, we have already learned them. We learned to say hal for an interrogative sentence to make a question, hal. To read is the present tense of the verb arada, to want, or to hib is the present tense of the verb ahabba, to love. And we have learned past tense verbs and present tense verbs. If you still didn't learn them, please click here. I have a lot of lessons, I think more than 400 Arabic lessons. So all the grammar that we were do we are doing now applying is, is just applying applying what we have learned um, before or the sentences that we're creating in the situational or um, conversational Arabic sentences are things that we have already learned in grammar so we're applying what we learned so how to read or how to have and I told you to put an between one verb and another and to put the present tense of the verb that comes afterwards how to have an tashrab to drink not shariba drank in the past. Hal to hib an tashrab shay something ma'i with me. Ma'i, I told you to make the prepositions with the uh, object pronoun attached. It's not with me um, detached. It's attached. They're not you know separate. They are attached one to another. Ma'i, hal to read an tashrab shay ma'i. Hal to hib an tashrab shay ma'i. Your friend Yusuf can answer. Naam bikul surur. Naam bikul surur. Yes. With all pleasure, bikul with all, actually literally translated, bikul with all, bikul surur, surur is happiness, it's, it comes from the um, the adjective masrur, happy, hmm? bikul surur, with, with much pleasure, yeah I would love to, hmm? that would be great, alright, bikul surur, or he, or he could say, uh, la shukran, no thank you, I don't drink, and la ashram, hmm? I don't, negating a verb in the present, la, I told you that. Ana la ashrab, I don't drink. Ana la ashrab, shukran, thank you. All right, so these are, this is a situation where you want to offer uh, a friend a drink. You are in a hafla, in a party, a flat, Eid Milad, a, a birthday party. In a birthday party, we can see a lot of asdiqa, mm? asdiqa, friends, dancing. Mm? The verb to dance is raqasa, raqasa, to, to dance. Um, 
we can say a uh, uh, dance hall or a disco is marqas. This is very important because I told you, if you put, if you take a verb like raqasa and you put ma at the beginning, it becomes the place where you make the action. So raqasa is to dance, marqas is the dance place or the disco, marqas. Just like tabakha to cook, matbakh is kitchen. Just like darasa to study, madrasa is the school. This is a very nice thing in Arabic language. You put ma at the beginning, it becomes the place. So people are raqasa, are dancing in the markas. Hmm? Or people are uh, uh, eating sweets. Uh, the verb to eat is akala. Hmm? The food is akil. You can find a lot of akil. And you can find a lot of hulwayat, sweets. Hulwayat. Hmm? And you can find also a cake. Hmm? A, a birthday cake. Cake we say ka'aka. Very similar to English. Cake, ka'aka. It's female with the ain in the middle. Ka'aka. And ka'aka t'id. Milad. Birthday cake. Ka'aka of the feast. Eid. Milad of the birth. Hmm? Ka'aka t'id. Milad. And you can find a lot of hadaya. Presents. Hadiya. One present. And hadaya. A lot of presents. And you can find. Um, um, music, musiqa in, in the hafla, in the party, musiqa, musiqa jamila. You can hear musiqa arabiya, <laughs> you, can, when you can listen to musiqa gharbiya, um, how do you say? Occidental? It's <laughs> not occidental. West, Western music, uh, musiqa arabiya, arabiya, or musiqa sharqiya, oriental, and musiqa gharbiya, or, um, uh, Western. My God, my Italian is ruining my English. <laughs> English. <laughs> All right. So I hope you liked this situational Arabic at the party. Fi al hafla. We learn how to offer a mashroub, a drink to our friend. We could say hal turid mashroub or hal turid an tashrab shay something معي with me. And he could answer, Naam bikul surur, yes, it's a pleasure, with, with a lot of pleasure. Or he could say, La shukran, no thank you, Anala ashrab, I don't drink. And we learned some vocabularies that we can find in a hafla, in a party. I want you to make two sentences of a party using the vocabulary that I told you. I go to the party of my friend, uh, or I listen to oriental music. Try to do these two sentences. And I will see you in the following situational or conversational Arabic lesson with me, Maha. I kiss you and I kiss you.